Legend of Total War here with another Saving Your Disaster campaign series. Today we're playing as the Seleucids in Rome Total War. Now this is an interesting campaign because um, this save file was sent to me earlier on in the campaign and I rejected it and things have deteriorated further and he has sent it to me again and it is now at a point where I go, yeah, you're, this is a disaster, definitely. So uh, the situation that, that he sent me was um, he saved it during an intern we're about to get attacked by the Scipii. I'm not particularly concerned by this battle, but uh, he he's also got enemies surrounding him everywhere. So it's a disaster. Let's let's get in here and try and fix it. I think the big one of the big problems with this is a, a fragmented empire. If you like, if you're not really that good at the game. You really should try to centralize as much as possible and keep it. Don't don't go all, all over the place. Okay. Um, against the the Scipio Romans, I usually don't like to to fight on the walls, especially with pikemen. So just don't bother. Just don't need to. Instead, control the choke points here. Play to our strengths, not our weaknesses, and don't play to our enemies' strengths. If we fight on the walls. We don't get to use our pike wall. They don't get to use their javelins, but you know these are close combat units. We don't want to fight them that way. All right, cover the entrances to the settlement, and <coughs> excuse me, and then just let it rip. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, restrict camera, great. Okay, those ladders are coming up. Alright, they've got some artillery here. I don't know if they're doing anything. I can't really see. Doesn't matter, just, be, just wait. So this one, this uh, particular save file is unique in that I have to fight a battle without having made any administrative decisions so far. Because every other save file that's sent to me so far has been like on the player's turn. So I could, even if it's not much, I could at least do something or at least look at what, what I've got. Whereas this, I've got to fight this battle. But like I said, looking at what I've got compared to what they've got, the, we're not going to lose this. This is really taking a long time for them to sort of activate, so I'm getting impatient. I'm going to send the cavalry out here to go and snipe those uh, ballistas. Yeah, not really a good start for the Romans. They didn't capture the gate. Position. Yep. That's all I wanted to do. And that's activated them. Another thing that I saw is that we're broke. So that needs to be fixed, obviously. Let them have a shuttle too, and then they can't really do any other damage aside from that. The enemy have formidable siege towers at the walls. Prepare for some hard fighting. Not a good start for the Romans. I'm sure that shooting is pretty annoying. I'll pull back to here. 
losing 30% of their forces before they've done anything. This is why you, you just don't you don't need to hold the walls. It's actually really hard to sort of get the um, the AI to come through the gate these days. I mean, this was um, quite lucky in that they actually managed to bash down the gate. Normally, the uh, the gates uh, the ram gets burned before it gets there. The boiling oil is good and everything, but it's not like it's not crucial. It, re it really helps more for lower unit scales for like the small unit scales since the boiling oil's damage does not scale with the the unit scale one of the, another reason why i prefer huge unit scale it lessens the impact of the of uh, the walls which i don't like to rely on makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Alright, he's having a really hard time there. Just make sure he's... Hang on, come on. Pike's down. So yeah, we're definitely going to win the battle. Get in there. I don't want this unit lost. Nice. What are we up to now? 90%? Good. When we win, they are wiped out. So what's left? Something hasn't routed yet. Good kill ratio. No units wiped out, so we can just, I'm assuming, retrain them here. Still a lot of enemies in the area. It's a big problem. Alright, so Pontus, we're at war with them. They want us to become their protectorate. Okay, I'll accept this. On the condition that they give me some money. Oh, what about Tarsus? No, let's just go with money for the time being. Let's go for 5,000. Nice, it actually worked. Ceasefire. Yeah, could you give me some money as well? Also, in this, in this game, if you're struggling, don't be afraid to accept vassalization. It really doesn't do much. It's sort of like saying, oh, look, we lost the war, but... If I'm not actually giving up anything substantial, what, what does it matter? Nice. Trade rights. Cool. Okay, so... Oh yeah, he was a war with a lot of people. So the Romans, of course, Egypt, Armenia, Dacia, it was Scythia, and there was Greek, and there was Pontus as well on top of that. So, now, here's the downside. Oh my god, we can't even maintain public order in our capital. Fuck me. Okay, well, this is the big downside to having being a vassal. If you have more than 10,000 gold, every, every coin over 10,000 you give to your protector. That's it. So all you have to do is make sure you don't end the turn with more than 10,000 gold, and that doesn't mean anything. Alright. Well, so we've only got three regions. We've got Salamis here, that's well defended. Uh, it's not well defended, it's unlikely to come under attack. Thessalonica making 1,200. Well, actually, that's not true, necessarily. It's making more than that. 
it's hard to say because it actually adds up this shit as well. I like the Medieval 2 system better, it just tells us what the income is. Alright, so a few things need to be repaired. No, not Demeter, we should get Dionysus. Also got our very high taxes, this stuff needs to be it's just damaged. And things need to be uh, repaired. A lot of devastation out this way though. Okay, uh, I would like to build a fort here if possible. With these two. Perfect unit for a uh, for a fort. And that way the Romans aren't going to bother us. Giving us at least some time to, well, could go around. No, well they can't reach us. He's not going to siege us at least. Um, oh, he makes a big increase to income. Alright, let's shift some of this stuff around. Good. Also, it's on large unit scale, not huge. I prefer huge unit scale, personally. But at least it's not small unit scale, because that was, that was really fucking annoying. Uh, let's get some more phalanx pikemen. Cool. What's our, what's our actual income? Not very much. Alright. Sidon down here. It's only, it's only got a wooden wall. We should take it. Our infantry won't make it though. Let's have a look. Who should be commanding stuff? This guy's an excellent general, but he's old. So let's not invest into him. 55 is old. This guy's 28. Like, I prefer it if he was 16. But I'm going to put... I'm going to try to make him better. Alright. And any time we don't want to be their protector any anymore, all we got to do is, you know, cancel the alliance. It's easy. That's why, you know, being a protector, don't, just don't, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. So how strong is Egypt compared to us? So we're on turn around 64. Oh my god. Jeez, they're way stronger than us. And who else are they at war with? It's just us. Okay. Yeah, let's focus on them. First things first, let's check to see what's down this way. If one of you could come over here and build a watchtower. There's nothing in our way, which means you go and besiege the settlement. Bring in the elephants, because they can allow us to attack the walls. Alright. Chariot. Bit of a wild card. Alright, we'll see how we go with that. Now the bounce uh the public order here is not good. Oh man, I just spent a lot of money. Is there somebody else that can be a better governor than this guy? Let's have a look. Nope. Nope, that made it worse. Nope. So, leave it as it was before. Well, when we exterminate the population here, that'll give us a lot of um, money. Give us something to work with. Oh, we got a fleet up here. You can't just disband ships in this, so I have, to, have, I have to get to a friendly port first, if, you know, I want to do that. Oh, I wonder if you'd actually make a good governor. Why don't we check? Yeah, he's the best one so far. Alright, cool. So you stay there, you, you lot stay out here. Is this going to be sufficient? Well, I really can't bring anything else down. So let's just, let's go with it. I don't think it's a good idea to auto resolve because the elephants will get, get, um, stomped. But yeah, this will fix up our financial needs. Of course, we also, this is a huge city. 
So we're probably likely to get fifteen to thirty thousand gold denarii. Um, we have to spend it this turn. We don't want any of that going to Pontus. Oh, whoops. Also, I think what we should do is uh, sacrifice the elephants because through the powers of necromancy we can bring them back to life. If you just do it in the right order. Alright, cool. Right, get over there. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Yeah, you have to stay right behind them at all times because these guys are chicken shit cowards and if they rout, we've got nothing else to fight them. Stats wise, they're way better than chariots. Chariots can't can't beat them. Except if they break them. This, which they're very easy to do. And I, I didn't mention what the difficulty is. I don't know what the difficulty is. People have been asking me, you know, to post what difficulty it is, you know, in the comment or description. Guys, I don't know. If people don't tell me what the, what the difficulty is, I don't know. It's probably on very hard, but I don't know. No, 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 not that far. So yeah, just give them a chance to recover a little bit. So while they're getting killed, have the uh, the mercenary pelters shoot at them as well. Just stand out here. Get them to come in range of the peltists. Alright, here we go. You don't fight, just stay, but stay put. Shit, get back. Ugh. The chariots. Okay, it seems to be going pretty well. Our guys are holding out, and there's not that many chariots left now. And the elephants are brought back to life. Like I said, first to die, first to recover. That's why you sacrifice them first and get them back for free. Ooh, that's some nice monies. Uh, that's not some nice number of troops, though. Yeah. Alright, well, I don't want... If if these guys here are to die, I don't want you to die. You should be safe, right? Hang on, let me just check. Ah, oh, shit. There's no way you're really safe. All right, we'll just stay there then. Yeah, you lot, just hang out over here. If they besiege the settlement, I need you to come and lift the siege. Trait increased, confident commander. Also, I should make this guy the heir, because this this guy here is the heir, and uh, he's old. He's older than the king. Oh, what was his name again? Koinos, okay. All right, good. Up to four settlements. Loads of money. Got to spend the money, though. All right.
What do I need here? Some more levy pikemen will be good. Just need troops. We gotta get this public order under control. Oh yeah, look at that money. Nice. Alright, what do we got here? Silver Shield Pikeman, very nice. Alright, I'll take that. So, comparing that to Phalanx Pikeman, they got two extra attack, one extra defense, good stamina, good morale. Morale being probably the, the most important stat of all, the, all those. Okay, what are we going to build here? Temple of Dionysus. Yeah, we should probably think about public order more than anything. Gonna be some hard fighting out here. Be good if we get a peace treaty with the with the Romans. Do you have any agents? Nope. Man, we gotta be recruiting troops over uh, anything else. I think I've done everything I can for this turn, but I'm sure as shit not gonna give them nine thousand gold. So what we do here, we can pump money into this crap, and we can pull it out whenever we need it. Shit. I absolutely cannot tolerate them capturing this. We got Armenia coming in over here as well. Which is a. Oh, I didn't retrain them. Whoops. Alright, you gotta, you gotta block them off. We've got money. You gotta block them off. So what's your actual income? Oh, it's like nothing. Yeah, buy us time to sort this out. Problem here is the troops here is shit. If I can get the pikes down there, they can make a big difference. So it's just going to have to stay under siege another turn. Hopefully they don't bring additional units. Okay, we need a fort here as well. Any public order here? Give me a problem. Okay, just uh, spam some of that. that. Should lower. Yep, build this first. That's faster public order. They haven't built any siege equipment yet, so we, we can afford to wait there for a turn. Alright, here we could lift this siege, I think. Alright, cool. So I've also got the Broody Eye about to make an attack there. Oh, well, they haven't built siege equipment yet, so we can wait till next turn before lifting it. But yeah, we're in a big defensive situation here. Just have to keep repelling enemy armies. All right. All right let's just get on out.
they got chosen archers. Okay. Um, that's fine. Let's get into loose formation. Loose pike formation. And then slowly move forward. Close up the. Uh, go back into tidal formation now. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. But in battle, it is beyond belief. Don't let them get away. Even though we didn't kill the enemy general, this is still a good victory, I think. Because we didn't take many casualties. Yeah. But, you know, we didn't wipe him out. Alright, well, we're not going to be seeing him again for a little while. Okay, we're in good enough shape that we can continue the attack over here if we really want to. But should we? Because we can whittle them down little bit by bit. Every time we wipe out a unit, someone that they have to, you know, spend a turn recruiting. Uh, we've actually got an ally in Macedon. Alright, give me another phalanx pikeman here. Just trying to decide whether or not I should attack this. I probably should. Before they bring in more reinforcements. Send, send, my lord. More dead. Just hope I can get back to the city. Uh, if, if not, it'll be alright. Oh, we're taking on two armies here. Deal with the uh, the broody eye. Uh, sorry, the skippy eye force first, and then we'll turn around and deal with the uh, broody eye force. Keep the, the garrison in the fort out of this. this may be a good okay, so... Enemy reinforcements, I think, are coming out from over here. Yeah. So let's set up here, then. You don't have to wipe them out, just... I just want to get rid of them. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? Give them no means by which to catch up with the broody eye. A reverse corner camp. It's a corner... Corner catch. I don't know. the cavalry around over here, see if we can wrap around them a little bit. Yeah. 
Like I said, not crucial that we wipe these guys out. I just didn't want them to interfere with the the real enemy here, which is the booty. I okay. All right, we we got the better of them on that one. That's good. Right, since the cavalry and the general is quite good, I'm going to send them around to harass separately. And I think these guys will be able to hold their own. Because most of them... Uh, but like I said, he's a good general. So they, sh they should hold. Most of these units are like abilities, so that's easy. Pretty sure the Broody Eye Army is wiped out completely. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. We got to uh, hard to say actually. Maybe we wiped them out. Maybe not. Yeah, we wiped out the Broody Eye Force. All right, cool. Not strong enough to press the attack. Only enough to repel anyone that comes over here. I have to be defensive for the time being. But eventually the money that I gained from from exterminating Sidon is going to run out. So we're going to need to get some guys together before then. And uh, make a proper attack. But these guys are gaining some experience, so that's certainly helping. Yeah, they'll just fit in. Yeah, uh, go with the public order. The the roads, it's not really going to help. There's no one to trade with out here, really. Like, it's, it's minuscule. I just want to get the public order sorted first. I mean, it is it is kind of sorted, but just because the general's in there. All right, next turn they'll arrive, and I'm sure that they'll do well. If Armenia attacks here, well, we'll just, I'll just have to figure something out. That's going to be a problem for us. Okay, what else should we do? Oh, there's this as well. Alright, so we've still got 3,700 left over. Financially, we're, we're still making a profit, so that's good. Oh, I'd, I'd love to get down to Larissa. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. There's nothing else I can... Wait, I, I retrained these units, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, moving on. Not ideal. Well, we got two turns to get back there. So you just stand here. That way I can get you to come in and help. And then I want you to double back around over there and lift the siege at Armenia uh, at Antioch. Alright, we gotta wait for reinforcements here, so you guys just, just wait there. I'll just pause the recording until these guys get there, because it's gonna take like 10 minutes at this rate. Okay, so we've moved in position. Unfortunately, this guy here, because we came in from a corner, he is stuck. Oh well. It's alright, it's, um, it's the infantry that I needed. So I'm also thinking, sending the elephants off to go and die right away because the powers of necromancy they will be restored 
But they have to be the first to go into battle and die, or else it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work. So yeah, just send them in to go kill whatever. It doesn't matter. But he has to be first. If you could take out some of those chariots, it'd be good. Alright. Either let them die or get back inside. Alright, okay, cool. Yeah, that's enough. Get back inside now. So they managed to kill 2%. Okay, cool. Alright, move forward. Take the general out over here. Alright, these guys here are not going to participate. Ah, same with you. So this here is our army. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for those chariots, I'd go and harass their missile infantry, but those chariots are a fucking pain. Since they're getting shot, move forward. general that he might one day become yet. Alright, we gotta do something about this. Go around the flanks. Oh shit. Uh, other way, other way. This side here. Ah oh, damn, this is not going well. Nile Spearman. Now, because we've taken a fair bit of damage, they're going to have to stay behind here and get retrained. Well, at least some of them will. That, that certainly helps. Let's just hope no one else on my side dies. Alright. We're going to win the battle, but, you know, it came at a cost. Doesn't look like, look like any of the units are actually going to get wiped out though, so that's good. Should be allowed to escape this battle. 
All right. Yeah, they're both alive because if the, if any of them were dead, it would have a. Yeah, they'd be greyed out. This is a vic yeah, it is an okay victory. We struggled with that one a little bit. But our guy gets a little bit better, which is good. All right. And we'll get the Silver Shield Pikeman coming in. All right, we've got, we've got two pikes here, so that's not so bad. Hold for time, at least. We're going to need to lift this siege as well. I just have a lack of troops. All right. All right, 120 is the no Okay, so let's yes, move that in there. So these three have to be left behind for retraining. It's four. Wait, can cavalry be retrained here? No, you're going to have to stay with them. Right, so they get retrained from here. Oh, and you. So no one else comes down over this way. Let's put some forts along here. to be away from the port. Okay, good. That works out. And even though it's not a huge force, get back there and prepare to defend Antioch. The, the big downside of this, of course, I can't recruit from Antioch now, but I can recruit here. Can't replace these elephants. I could replace them at Antioch. Get that silver shield pikeman coming in. Drop them taxes a little bit. All right, what are we gonna build here now? So yeah, that certainly helped. Well, that's just from bringing in the port. Very nice. All right, population growth and oh, there's a whole yeah culture penalties here. A little bit of a problem. It's okay. Okay, you come over here. Get to port. They're pretty secure here at the moment. Alright, what are we going to do? That's too heavily fortified for us to take. But that doesn't seem too heavily fortified. If we could make it down there... That'd be... That'd be good. Okay. And Athens is a large city. And with... Good strong walls. Okay. Let's see what the public order is going to be like. If we just lower the taxes a bit, it'll be fine. Yeah, take them with us. So don't get on the boat right now, but prepare to get on the boat next turn. And hopefully it can get us... Hopefully it can get us the whole way there, but if it can't, oh well, because we definitely don't want to stay on the, on the boat during the end turn. Alright, are we good? We're good. How's our finances? It's still going up, and of course we've stored a lot of wealth in in th this here. Oh wow, is it all... That 20,000's already been spent. Just about. Okay, moving on. We are besieged. We are besieged. Okay, that's a bit of a problem there. That's not going to allow us to, to get through. Ready to sail. Okay, well that... So. Can easily lift the siege though. Okay, we didn't get as much money as I thought we'd get. That's 
a big army. It's absolutely fine if they capture this. If we stand here, we might... What do you think? Can we lift the siege? Let me just check. What do we got? Okay. It's nowhere... It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I think... I think we can maybe manage. I think I've only got two units of... Well, actually, I have four units of pikes. It's just if we lift the siege, we get a turn of recruitment. And there's no guarantee they'll make the attack over the end turn anyway. Could you just... Let's see what the odds are with this. Okay. Chances are he won't make the attack when the odds aren't in his favor, so we have to sally out. And every unit here that gets that gets defeated, uh, that takes casualties, can be retrained anyway, so it's almost, it, it pretty much doesn't matter how many casualties we take, as long as individual units don't get wiped out. Oh, they got spies here. Well, that could be good if they attack us right now. Because this, this is not going to be favourable for them. Let's see if they do it. Nope, they won't do it. Alright, let's reorganise this firstly. Another downside as well is that this guy is not exactly a good commander, so they're going to have a hard time with morale. Alright, everyone start coming out over here. Okay, um, that's... Kevin's gonna be a little bit tired, but go a little bit forward. We're gonna have to wait a little while on those infantry to get, um, get their, um, what's it called? Fatigue up. So here's what I'm thinking. We send you in this direction here to attack them. And I want you two around over here, ready to intercept them as they fall back. Ah, oh, but they've moved it around. Yeah, they would be exhausted after running this far. This is actually pretty good what they're doing here. As in, good for me. Stupid, stupid move for them. Even though it's just trash, there's still some safety in numbers for them. That's a good start for us. Sacrifice the unit for nothing. Right. Shit. Hmm. There's no way we can catch up to them. put the cavalry into two groups generals bodyguards and cavalry although this guy here should not fight because I don't want him getting wiped out because he could get retrained here
But I don't have that many archers, so I'm not going to go into loose formation pike. Oh, they're still exhausted. Don't march up any further. Shit. I gotta do something about this. him. I don't need to wipe him out. Okay, they're about to catch him. Get out, get out, get out. Come on, dipshit. Okay, he's still alive. Not for much longer, though. Turn back around. You guys get in over here. Surprise. Sort of. Stop running around like idiots and fucking fight. The enemy general flees. Don't let him get away. So that the spirit of his army is a broken tool. Oh, they're letting him get away. God damn it. Oh, shit. Alright, well, he left the battlefield. So that's something. Uh, quick, get back over here. Before they break. Shit, get back. Like I said, as long as they don't get wiped out, can be replaced. two units of infantry aren't going to participate now, it's just up to you two. But the bounce of power is now in our favour, so we've won the battle. Alright, good, we won there. And they're hightailing it out of here. We can't wipe out the entire army, because like I said, the general just uh, run away. But we'll just do the best we can and kill as many of them as possible. Everyone should be able to be retrained. As long as no generals died, it's all good. Good. Alright, need some more funds in order to retrain them. So, cancel this. That, that's, that's how much seed on blood money is left. Alright. Bring this back. Okay. The elephant can be um, restored as well, but they're a little bit on... What's their, what's their upkeep like? Yeah, best, best be cautious. How are we going financially now? I'm still making a profit each turn, it's just that... It's just not very much. If we can make it a move towards Damascus, that would be good. doesn't matter in the slightest if they capture this so let them hmm actually if I could actually I will bring you back for retraining you two stay behind there but I need these guys here to come and fight with me I'm not going to stand close enough that, that I would come and reinforce it just come stand there Lord. 
try and get some troops together to beat this army and punch our way towards Damascus. Ugh. Well, that's going to bring us to 65. Shit, what else could I do? Well, the... the wasn't there a governor who was actually good? 65, okay, yeah, that's, that's good. So... This guy here, he's the governor. You lot, stay out of the city. Just stay there. Okay. They got no siege equipment here. So they're not getting in to here next turn. We've got time to make another Silver Shield Pikeman. Gotta get to Damascus. And exterminate it. Alright, so over here, we gotta lift this siege. Or we could actually cross in over here and it's too much. We can't deal with that. It's too, it's too many of them. Alright, well. Yeah, just come over here and fight this, I guess. Still building up our forces here. We need at least a full stack if we're going to take on all of that. This is nothing to be concerned about. You know what? I could probably do this just with the cavalry. Given the cost that we're spending on this army, it would prob it could actually be worth it to lose Thessalonica. Because that way I just won't have to deal with the Dacians, the Brutii, or the Scipii. No, I'd like to try and... Uh, gain ground on them, but there's, there is a lot of them here. And I'll see, we'll see how we go. I mean, I still got money at the moment. Just, we gotta start making some gains. You can't just defend all the time. It's not a good way to be. Actually, you should pull through a little bit over here. Try to kill the enemy general. Go around them. There we go, get him. Come on, kill the damn general. Kill him. Don't let a single one of them escape, please. <laughs> They're like, hey guys, is the battle already over? Uh, yeah. Uh, also, him being here, yeah, lots more money comes in through this way. Well, the zombie is getting stronger, so that's good to see. I kind of need them to separate a little bit, like I want to be able to fight these battles one at a time, not all at once. don't really see the point. Well, it's too far away, like by the time I get there I'd be dead anyway. Right, the financial situation is bad, but it's not that bad. Alright. What else can we do here? Alright, I think we're done for the turn. Let's move on.
Let's see if they stay in the fort. Nope. Actually, this could work. Um, I get some money out of them. And... Just not be at war with them anymore. Will it cancel? My I've never been a vassal of two people before. Hmm, let's see what we can get out of it. I go for... I don't want to have more than 10,000, so we'll go for 3,000, see if they'll give me that. Because then you can just, like, cancel it straight away. I mean, it makes me despicable or whatever. Um, let's just... Let's not worry about it. I'm already a vassal, so being a vassal to someone else, like... It's not going to change anything. War declared on ally by Dacia on Macedon. <sighs> well, technically Dacia is our, our um, overlord, so I'm going to side with them, just because I, I don't really care about Macedon. It seems like they're dead anyway. And if this is one frontier that I don't have to worry about, that's good, I can focus on the Romans. Yeah, we kept the money, so that's good. Now we could just put someone else in there once we... Oh, they've got two armies here now. Uh, at least Damascus is not well defended. Elephants are back up to full strength. Alright, so what do we got? Don't, don't have much. He's a level 3 general. Okay. Alright, let's bring in uh, let's bring in some reinforcements. Public order here has improved. Which is good. Alright. Okay, they're all pretty low-level generals, so they won't take command. We'll just use them as heavy cavalry. Public order here is good-ish. Let's see, what do we need? Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll bring in the elephants and just sacrifice them at the beginning using the powers of necromancy and revive them. And he's managing, that's good. Now we need... Let me just see here. If I upgrade this, a fair bit of money comes from that. Because we need cash. Also, I'd also need to upgrade the settlement. Maybe I should do that first. Alright. Evenly matched battle. We should win then. So first thing we do, sacrifice the elephants because, like I said, uh, we're gonna do this. Yeah. Okay, that's, that works perfectly. It's what Hannibal did at Zama because he knew that you always take, you always recover fifteen percent of whatever casualties you you take first. So he sent in the. Uh, the elephants first, assuming that he was going to win the battle and just get them all back. Wait, is that really what Hannibal did? I don't like that they've got the high ground, but... We have to make do. So, you just kill whatever you can. No real pressure there, even if they don't kill anything. It's fine. They're only along for the... Uh, they're essentially mobile battering rams. And they don't slow down the army at all. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't be charging into pikes. It's a good thing they've got so much experience. That'll, um... Oh, shit. We don't want them to go berserk. Oh, but the army is so disorganized. Charge. They're not even in proper pike formation. Nice. 
His men know their doom approaches. And that's how you Hannibal it. Except Hannibal didn't do it. They have done amazingly well for us there. Okay. Okay. As long as they run off the battlefield, okay, it, it's done now. Alright. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that went... I didn't expect anything out of that, so... The fact that they killed the enemy general was just great. But we do have to deal with enemy missile units now. Alright, you lot go deal with that. How'd they take an additional casualty? Hang on, let me see this. How did one of the elephants die? How'd that even happen? Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, the unit will still exist. He still might get revived as well, although all of these casualties would have to be revived first. Shit, shit, shit. So yeah, it doesn't matter if these guys here die. Okay, try and take out their missile units. Seems like most of their cavalry is gone now. It's still weird how that elephant just sort of spontaneously combusted and died. You know what, this might actually require a second episode, because this is not solved yet. We've only captured one settlement, it's been an hour. Start closing in on them. Oops. Imagine the whole army is going to flee soon, and I'm going to run them all down and execute them. Careful, I don't think you can handle those, those spears there. Okay, yeah, they're trying to get the hell out of here. Don't let them go. This went really well. Oh, 
Now let him get away. Okay, it only says we got 86% of them. So, one of the armies is wiped out, but the other one isn't. Well, unless we perfectly got 85% on both. Let me see here. Well, that one there is definitely dead, but I don't think that one is. But that's okay, there's only 100 of them left. Oh, oh actually, no, it's fine, because oh, I'm out of movement anyway. Two technically died. Yeah, because that'll allow us to batter ram it. Uh, okay, well, we don't have any more movement left, and I can't send these guys back for retraining. Okay, so... Still making a little bit of money per turn. Alright. I'm going to try and make more cash out here. Public order seems fine. But we're going to be paying for these Silver Shield pikemen somehow. The dockyard will provide... Uh, it's only a tiny amount of extra. Oh. Stone walls will help us defend the settlement a little bit. Okay, so they'll they'll capture this next turn, but that's fine. All right, uh, all of that's looking pretty good. All right, now over here. Okay, our army's in tip-top shape, and we need to defeat this Brutii army. What if I was to make my way over to Epirus? Could work. Because that... It seems like the Brutii forces... Well, let's just see which is stronger. Brutii or Scipii. So, man, look at what happens when I turn it around. Alright, so... Okay, so the Scipii are way stronger. Let's let's push against the Brutii over here. We don't know what's there, but at least it's something. We're, we're now allied to them. So they should hopefully leave us alone. Or... We could capture by Lazora. Because it would have only just come under siege. We can besiege as well because I reckon our allies attacked it. And we could use their army to attack. Alright, we'll send send yes, these two. Yes, that way I get it. Okay, so they've got a relatively smallish army. We've got to make sure we've got enough troops here. Because I want to send enough over here. I want to lift this. Uh, let's see. Because they're, they're probably dead anyway. Probably wasn't good for um, our reputation, but to be honest, if you think about it, I am their vassal, so I really should come in to assist. Alright, I'm going to send... You know what, I will send you in to just... Because they're not going to take this next turn, but they might also lift the siege and hit Thessalonica. Which, does that really matter if they do that? I'll be back here next turn anyway. Alright, let's do that then. I'll take the entire army. Uh, just leave one of them behind. We've got some archers. Those would be useful. And since we'll actually have two settlements here, we can build paved roads and increase the amount of trade. I should have got a trade agreement with the with the Dacians. Okay. So financially, yep, we don't have to pay them shit. Although protected treasury is not looking too good. But we're getting there. If we manage to capture Bylazora, which is a it's could be a, a minor city. I'm not sure. Can't see how much population. Well, we'll find out next turn. Okay, moving on. Yeah, they, look, they lifted the siege and went after that. Huh. 
Ha, ah, they didn't even besiege Sidon. Yeah, nice. Oh, f They got peace treaty with them. They declared out. Oh, there's. Whatever, fuck. Fine, don't let me have the settlement then. God damn it. Fucking pricks. Stupid overlord. Armenia is on its way back. Alright. We could get to Damascus this way. Now, just checking, out of curiosity, if we have a look at. Okay, so they're allied with Armenia, so they should be able to walk right past this. Yeah, we need to capture this so that we can. Yeah, leave someone here. Okay, let's just do this. I think auto resolve should be sufficient. Yeah, a bit of damage here and there, nothing that can't be replaced. Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to make it to Damascus, that's good, we'll take that, and it's not well defended at all. So we've got to start thinking about sending guys back to where they need it, because I don't know what I can recruit here. So... Send him back to Antioch. Silver Shield Pikeman can go back for retraining, there's no one to push into. And these Levy Pikemen, let's... Shuffle them around and have a look. My lord. Nice. That does actually make them almost as good as Silver Shield Pikemen. And they're two tiers below them. So you go back to Antioch, because it's most likely going to come under siege. Then over here, we need... We need, we need to put someone in here to maintain the fort. There we go. Okay, so he won't be able to besiege this, and then next turn we maybe make it over to Palmyra. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, Damascus it is. Oh, this is a tough one. Are we still vassals with, uh, of, uh, what's it called, Pontus? I've never been vassalized, really. <laughs> when am I ever weaker than the enemy? Or need, in need of a peace treaty in Rome Total War. But in this situation, we I could really, could really use a reprieve. This isn't a This Is Total War campaign. Alright, so if you could sort this out, that would be great. I don't think I'll send them in to be suicidal. I mean, I could. No, 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 I don't know about it. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken.
Need to make sure this pike wall is thick enough before we actually go and attack them. Oh, hang on, here they come. Shit, get in there, get in there. You need to make sure their morale holds. Alright, cool. Just put one man in there, they'll come and attack you. Which is what I planned there. Nice. So that that improves our treasury. So I'm curious. So they're still allies. Are we... Yep. They're a protectorate. And... Yeah, we're a protectorate of two people. That's bizarre. I didn't know you could do that. Learn something new every day. Of, of course, it's not something to be proud of, but it's just it's a way to get. We need to just deal with these guys one at a time, really. Once we've dealt with Egypt, or once he's, because I'm not going to be dealing. I'm not going to wipe him out completely. That's his job. I'm just going to try and secure his position out here. Once he's dealt with one of these other enemies, then he can just turn on his his overlord. All right. So Armenia, Parthia has been pretty much destroyed. Minor city. Still looks useful to take. And it would be an original... I think it was an original Seleucid settlement. Or maybe it's rebel to begin with. Alright, it doesn't matter. Um, Jerusalem down here is a wooden... It's got wooden walls. If I had, if I had arches, I'd go for it. We're... Still got a little bit of movement. You might be able to catch us. What can we retrain here? Levy pikemen can be retrained. Okay. Alright, let's get some archers from here. Alright, leave that one behind for retraining. So they've also got like armor equipments and stuff, but there's no time to sit around for that. It's, we gotta keep moving. Wait, is the public order gonna manage? Yeah, because we exterminated them. Oh, I forgot to retrain them. Oh, wait, I sent them back this turn, didn't I? Oh, I can't remember. Let me just check. Yeah, I think I sent them back this turn. Okay, now we need... more Silver Shield Pikemen. You keep that going. Keep them... Uh, what about some more cavalry? I think we got enough for now. Actually, considering what we're going up against... Yeah, no, no, no. Go with Lily Pikes. Alright, we're going to build here. Alright, Dionysus, that's good. How's the finances here? Good enough for now. Alright, yeah, good with that. Good, good. Good. Alright, so this... This bomb down. I mean, we can still technically besiege it, but... We should come back here. That's a pile of crap army. Because if I declare war on Macedon, it's quite possible that Dacia will favour them over me. And if they do that, then we're back to square one, essentially. And I've just, well, I've scored a little bit of cash out of them, but... Let's just deal with one thing at a time. Let's go deal with the Romans. Oh, that's not good. They're showing up behind the enemy there. Actually, it's fine because they can be retrained here, but still, it's not really ideal. Yeah, you leave.
Most of their units are missile units, so should be alright. He's not throwing so well. Okay, the general's looking just about surrounded. Killing him will be really good. Nice. Right, you get out of there. And you look, run them down. Well, it's all worked out quite nicely, I think. Okay, what's the percentage? Nice, they're wiped out. Alright, hopefully this, this one army here is the only thing standing between us and... Uh, Epirus, I can't remember what it's called. Is it Apollonia? Or is that Apollonia? Maybe that's Apollonia, I can't remember. Um, See what we can sort out and get start getting moving over there. My Lord. So tunes of cavalry need to be left behind. Sir, I don't need to leave any of those behind really. You Sir. come with us. Oh, and the cavalry as well, of course. Sir, leaving the army. Yes, My army's bigger than his, but I think he's got more units, yeah. Okay. Yes. Still, we got a, a really good general here. So, Pretty sir, confident we'll do just fine. Yes. And if the Scipio, yeah, if they can't the get there in time, good. even if he attacks us, we should be fine. Now we just need to build enough of a defense here so that if the Scipio shows up, they get absolutely destroyed. If that's the case, maybe we should build more uh, more pikemen here. Be far more useful. I didn't retrain the cav. All right, everything looking good. We got a little bit of cash in the bank. Hopefully, they, I'm hoping they just go after a fort because we don't want to lose Antioch. Because we'd have to take Palmyra and then double back over here to get there in time. I could also send these guys over to assist. If it comes under siege. But then there's also this as well. My Lord. Oh, we'll just have to make do. Right, moving on. Hmm. This is an interesting thought. If we did this... Let's, let's, that's weird. Why does everyone want me in this campaign to become a protectorate? I've seen, I've had more offers to become protectorate in this campaign than in my entire time playing Rome Total War, basically. Um, I'm willing to accept this if you give me a region. I want you to give me Larissa. If you give me Larissa, I'll accept this. What the fuck? How did that work? <laughs> so, I'm now a vassal of... Uh, like, I'll accept that. A vassal of the Romans. 
a vassal of... No, they don't want it. Fine, whatever. A vassal of the Dacians. A vassal of Pontus. And he's coming to attack me. This is probably the best case scenario. Alright, now, uh, they got a lot of missile units, oh, we got a lot of cavalry, okay, I think we'll be fine, let's just go reasonably wide, and send the elephants in first, because I'm sure that they'll get revived, I'm going to keep the general, uh, keep him on the, in the, in the center, because he's not amazing just yet, keep you guys on the flank there, alright, you guys go, and just do as much damage as you can. What are these here? Cataphract archers. Hillman. Big concentration of troops there. Go and have some fun. Yeah, they won't mas last much longer, but that's okay. Hope and kill them all. Before we lose anyone else. Alright. Okay, well. They're probably not going to recover to full strength, but it's okay. We only need one to knock down the walls. Cataphract archers. That's going to be tricky for you. You're going to have to bring these guys over here to assist. The good news is, is that they're probably going to be so slow, we'll easily be able to catch up to them. How are we going so far? We're losing... We're losing a little bit. Guys, just need to hold out for the time being. Alright, you ready? Take out those cataphract archers. need you to take out those archers. It's good that they sent so many units over this way. Alright, well that's pretty much guaranteed us victory. Now we're just going to send the cavalry around, take out all the missile units. With their captain gone, they're probably a little bit tired after running away the elephants. Yeah, we got this. Make sure we get 85% kills so that every last one of them disappears off the campaign map. Alright, so we lost... 21% of our men, some of which will recover to... Yeah, it's fine. Good, they got wiped out. Well, this is a weird turn of events. Now, are we going to be able to maintain this settlement? Yes, we will. That's weird. And we're no longer at war with any of the Romans.
Okay. Um, given the situation, this is not fucked anymore. Like, it's not... He's still got a lot of work to do. But he's up to six regions. And he has only two enemies. So, I would recommend over here probably play it a little bit defensive. If he really wants to, so we can risk hitting up the Macedonian capital. I'll keep playing a little bit longer. I'm just thinking... Maybe I should do that. Because I'll piss off the Dacians, but I won't piss off the Romans. And I don't care about the Dacians. They're, they're easy. I expect that the Romans will probably attack me at some point. Yeah. We're definitely not making a profit in the area. Alright. Make the attack here. And let's see what what gets done. Massinon. Okay, so Dacia has sided with me. Good. Good. That way. Okay, get the archer now. We can take that without any serious repercussions. Best way to do this stuff when you're undermanned is one enemy at a time. Okay, so over here, we've got two units of Silver Shield pikemen. Not really enough to defend the settlement, though. We're going to have to send in some reinforcements. I'm going to have to take a commander from somewhere around over here. How about you? Get over here. You're going to have to take the pikemen from here. And the Greek cavalry. To get over here in time to assist this. And... These is this one as well. So I want more archers here. Besiege. Hang on, hang on. Oh, we got all the uh, elephants back. Archer coming too. Okay, he's level four general now. Things are getting better. So we'll capture this. So yeah, this is weird. It's weird having this many allies. I don't expect to hold this indefinitely, but the fact that we got the settlement for free... I'm not going to pay them a cent, so what does it matter? I mean, sure, I was making my way over here, but... This is this was a good scenario. We'll take advantage of it. Alright. We can get Phalanx Pikemen here. Given this is a walled settlement... Uh... So yeah, they'll let us send... Like, I don't like Militia Cavalry. I don't know if he likes them or not, but I think Militia Cavalry is garbage. Just get rid of them. Militia Hoplites... Tr oh, wait. We got public order problems here. Alright, go with this, and then I'll just have to increase population. It it'll be okay. We're going to have to fix up public order first, I think. Demeter, no. You should go with Dionysus. Alright, let's take Palmyra. Okay. And then double back around to go and hit Egypt. It's weird. I feel like the situation's fucked, but it's mostly fucked because they're basically submitted to most of his enemies. But like, as I've said, in this game you can't let yourself, in war in general, sometimes you can't let yourself have too much pride. If pride is going to get in the way of victory, then, you know, toss it aside. Yes, it's a bit shameful to have four uh, overlords. We have three overlords. But at the same time, we bide our time. The situation was shit. We bide our time, use this period of them thinking that we're their subordinate to, uh, to take out Armenia and Egypt, build our strength up, and then we'll take out our overlords one at a time. That's how you do it. And of course, chances are that they're just going to get sick of us anyway, and... And declare war on us again. Alright, since you're taking casualties, then don't send in the elephants in this battle.
There's no real need for it though. I need stupid Armenian horse archers. The thing to keep in note as well, this is Levy Pikemen. They're only one tier above um, Militia Pikemen. Or just Militia Hoplite Phalanx. Uh, what's it called? Hoplite Militia. So it doesn't really matter if they get wiped out. But it's at the same time, we've got to, got to professionalize our army, make it better. Which is why we're recruiting Silver Shield Pikemen. Hopefully with Silver Shield Pikemen, he'll be able to do a lot better. Of course, I've got a hold seat on. Oh shit, that's not faring so well. This one. The enemy general is running away. Ah, cool. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. And we get ourselves some more cash. Alright, let's have a look here. So this is Zoroastra. That's got to go. Can't upgrade it. Alright, so we can get Phalanx Pikemen from here. Do that. And we can easily retrain these guys. My Lord. Oh, they, do they make it back? Oh, they almost make it back. I thought when I'm sitting on his hands here for too long. Is Armenia at war with anyone else? Let me have a look here. No, it's where they're on the enemy. They're not they're not taking on Scythia or anything. Okay, so. Expect expect to see them again. We can't stay here. We've got to keep moving. Okay, um, leave some guys behind here for retraining. Just trying to do the maths in my head to make sure they don't get completely absorbed. Alright, that's all that's left. I can't merge any of those. Why are we bothering? We got no movement left anyway. Just stay here. Yes, Move out. Out move, sir. So yeah, they won't make the attack next turn. Hopefully, they don't bring in these guys as reinforcements because that'll really make things difficult. Ugh, one more turn, we could have had walls. That would have made a big difference as well. All right. Let's see here. My Lord. Everything looking good. Seems like it. We don't have to pay our overlords anything because we've got finances. Uh, we, we have less than 10,000, I mean. Everything's recruiting. Mm, Slamus is making pretty good coin. What we should have here, because it very rarely gets invaded, is just have peasants and then bring these guys back. disband them because they're shite as you can tell I'm not a big fan of javelin curve All right moving on <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why do you bother giving me a settlement and then just take it away again? We'll try to take it away. Well, we recruited a little bit here. I probably, in hindsight, shouldn't have disbanded anything. It's just weird that they'd be like, you should become our protectorate. I'm like, okay, cool, give me a th Larissa. Sure. Wait. I don't like this at all. So they're neutral. It's fine, whatever. Oof. There's a lot of fucking guys over here. I'm going to take this just because that'll keep someone busy. They're getting ready to make the attack. Alright, stand. Stand at the rear of the city. Oh god, we can just get it there. Get ready for the defense. Oh my god, I didn't fucking retrain any of them. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's alright, we'll just we'll head over to Damascus and we'll get retrained there. Which is that that was like at the edge of their movement anyway, so it's alright. Alright, if I just leave behind one unit here. Yeah, public order's maintained, so that's good. You come over here. Same with you. And just recruit another one. This time, don't forget, that would be a good idea. And maybe we'd be able to make an attack on Jerusalem. Yeah, you gotta keep them coming. Good, that's something we'll get upgraded. Over here. So main thing I guess building now is just oh, okay, get rid of that. It's about getting rid of the culture penalty. Yes, Sir. And honestly, it doesn't really matter if they capture that. It's like easy come, easy go, sort of thing. But I'll you know, I'll make them work for it. Oh, well, I won't, because I'm about to end this. Hang on, I'll bring in some more reinforcements. Won't need the cavalry. Oh, they're going to come in and help? Lovely. I love it when I can just let the allies essentially die. Do they have rams or anything? No. Alright, if they don't have... Don't have rams. Let's... Let's organize over here. Uh, there's no... Oh, the gate's over there. Okay, it's fine. Just reorganize this real quick. So it's easier for them to get in here. Oh, they're coming to pick up a ram. Uh, you probably shouldn't do that because I don't want you damaging the walls. Uh, I don't know. Just different can go through the front gate. It's fine. Soldiers have done their work well. 
The battering ram has broken through the gate. So let the Dacians fight first. Obviously, I don't give two shits about them. So if they get killed, I'm f like I don't fucking care. Soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. And hell, if they win the battle for us, great. No, I don't have to lose any men. Good, they cleared the way for us to get in easily. Nice. The leader of the Allies has been slain. This loss is hard for us. But harder still for his own people. <laughs> like it's hard on me. I don't give a shit. Fear has overcome your allies. Escape is all they seek. Look to your own defense. Move out. Eh, thanks for killing half their army for me. I'll take it from here. Got a bit of a slog through a narrow corridor, a narrow street. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while to get through here. Alright. Well, maybe not, since they're not putting up resistance here. Shit, shit, shit. Um, he might get might get wrecked really hard if not careful. Yeah, he's uh, kind of like the first ones to die, so he'll probably get some recovery. Get back. Okay, good, another general dead. I reckon considering how many men died in these ones here, this unit here is going to recover. The enemy king has been slaughtered. Let us hope he does not poison the carrion birds. Yeah, let's hope we don't go and lose four generals bodyguard. Well, you know what I mean. Four generals. I don't want to lose my king is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Fucking pathfinding, man. Alright, good. It certainly was good that the uh, 
the Dacians came and thinned them out for us, because that was pretty tough fighting to get in there. Alright, now let's have a look. Yeah, the unit recovered, so we didn't lose any units. And everyone could be retrained. So, that's all that's left of the Dacians there. And we got ourselves in another settlement. Which should be pretty easy to maintain, considering we exterminate it. It's just a minor city. And it'll help increase trade with Thessalonica, so... And, you know, make its own cash. Right, and... All that here... Uh, we should definitely leave... Pikemen here... To defend it. Not just peasants. Right. Bring the entire army back if we can. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we can now destroy this. Could have upgraded the missile units first, but yeah, actually, let's let's do that. Stay here for a turn. I won't bother retraining them, because I'll just retrain them back at Thessalonica. Uh, actually, I'll retrain a few of them. Because I can't retrain the Phalanx Pikemen here. I mean, it can, but it must have just extra equipment and stuff, so whatever. Alright, what are we going to build here then in the meantime? How about walls? Alright, we'll see if they make their attack here now. And if we can save Sidon. And then if I if I manage to save Sidon, I'll end it there and I'll hand it back. If I don't save Sidon, I'll do another episode. Alright, what are we gonna build here? The mines seem like a good idea. Get, get a little bit of extra cash. Actually, you know what? The population here is really low. We got to we got to increase the population growth. We're just going to run out of manpower in the area. All right, let's move on. Okay. So, let's do this. Alright, since there's three rams, there's no point in trying to stop them here. We might as well just go back to the town square. Alright, let's see. What are the ways into the city? There's one way in through here. Where are they likely to come through? They're likely to come through here. Alright. Both of you stay here. Since you're the general, you stay here. Reinforcements are on the way. Enforcements have arrived. This is hopeful news indeed. Probably not a good time to dick around, but get in here. And they're also going to need some time to rest, obviously, but let's make use of the unlimited morale area here, because he's the commander, so we're not going to get great bonuses. Oh good, they're inside. Okay, the tails are doing some damage, but if, if we had stone walls, it would have been so much more. Oh well, we'll get it next time. Another thing is that they might besiege the settlement again straight after this, but that buys us a little bit more time at least. It'll be two turns before they attack. We made might take Jerusalem. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it. It's up to him to do it. I feel like I've done enough now. I've ended a number of wars. Although, you know, submitted to these overlords. But, you know... 
I know. I don't, I don't know why I feel like I have to keep justifying it. I feel like I made the right decision. Like I've said so many times, being a vassal doesn't do anything. The only bad side about being a vassal is if you've got lots of money, they take your money. If you don't have any money, they don't do anything. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. I may not have ever needed to bring in reinforcements. Okay, hang on. They, they're going to come in from other areas as well. Send the cap. I don't want this general here to die. Although he seems like he might be over 50 years old. Coming in from over here. Bowman, okay. That's really politically incorrect. It's bow people, not bow men. because of their combined arms problem. Uh, you guys should move forward on them here. The slingers are giving us a real hard time. Yeah, we definitely need to bring in reinforcements. I'm still quite confident of victory here. Well, these are Pharaoh's guard. Not anymore. Alright, press the attack here. Uh, careful, careful. Shit. I'm sure that the, the units are still going to maintain. Fuck, 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 where is it? You get it back over here. Come deeper into the uh, into the town square. Fucking slingers, man. But would you start pathfinding properly, please? Oh shit, you as well. Yeah, good pathfinding. Good job. Alright, once we get past these Pharaoh's Guard here, we shouldn't have any problem running down the rest of them. Alright, let's go. There we go. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. How do we go? Alright, they're all dead. A close one. I think the Silver Shield Pikeman will be okay. Yeah, because first to die, first to recover. Everyone's okay. It just depends now on whether or not they're going to besiege it again. Yeah, I figured they might. Giving us no time to recover. However, the army of Damascus can sort that out. Like I said, at least we bought ourselves some time. 
Funny thing is, they could have made the attack again straight away, because the walls are down. Part of me is thinking I should clear out this before I um, hand it back, actually. Because what if he can't handle that? Losing Sidon would be a big deal. Oh shit, we got too much money. Where do we get this much money from? We just, just spend it. Uh, let's see. Antioch, what do we need here? Probably better barracks would help. Actually, make it stone walls. Considering how many enemies you've got, walls would, would really come in handy. And public order's now under control, so that's good. Oh, fuck. Recruit peasants. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the walls are damaged. Okay, so... I'm going to come over here and lift this siege. And once I've won that battle... Then I'll, uh, I'll end it there. Should I bring the elephants? Let's see, what have we got? What have they got? They've got a larger army. Can bring some of these guys into assist as well, I think. We should definitely fight them out in the field and not sally out, because morale would be a big problem if we sallied out. Okay, send these two back for retraining at... Actually, just to stay back. Send these two over here. My lord, splitting the troops. Onward, my lord. So, onward. Few extra troops might come in handy, even if it's just soaking up missiles. Okay, so it looks like we'll win this, based on what we're seeing here. Lifting this siege will allow us to repair the walls retrain the units and get ready for the, the next fight against Egypt and eventually push our way to Jerusalem. Again, not my problem. This is for, for him to sort out. And I think it's the least I can do to just clear these guys out so that he doesn't have too much difficulty dealing with it. Stay in the middle there, you on the flanks, and you stay up front and just die. Uh, st die midway through the battle, because if they die at the beginning, they'll be the first to recover. What's what's the point in that? God be praised! The reinforcements are here! Send them to fight! Dishearten the enemy! You know, I kind of wish they didn't actually show up on the battlefield. If I tell them to withdraw, they don't withdraw off here. Get over here. And let this guy here protect you. No, this is not a huge concern. So get rid of them first. The biggest downside to this though is that on the charge it's possible for your general to die. Shouldn't happen, but doesn't mean it doesn't ever happen. So far, so good. Should be shooting into his flank. Yep. 
ripping them to pieces. Okay, slow down. The balance of power is well in our favor now. Let's start moving forward. The archers have done a great job. They've really thinned them out. Alright, uh... No, just stay forward. Don't worry about it. sacrificing yourself. I heard you just as... I can always put him in a, uh, in a in a fort somewhere. Oh, hell no you don't. You're not fleeing. F fuck no you don't. Yeah, good job guys. Wrong way. Wrong way. With the pikes. Great job. Alright, that's, that's good. Make sure you run them down. Stop pussyfooting around and run them down already. Come on, we need to get another 15% of them. I just want to fight them again another day. What are you dicking around for? Since they're... Oh, hang on. You got a choice. If you want to stay in the pike formation, we will catch you with these guys. It's up to you. Gotcha. What are we up to now? Good. They are dead. We don't have to kill any more of them. But I will. Oh, jeez. You took some damage. When did that happen? Let them go. We got 90% of them. They're gone. The enemy show that this is All right. So with that, we have eight settlements up from three. So we've more than doubled his territories. We've he's still got a lot of enemies, but he doesn't have as many as he did before. Although most of that stuff would have happened anyway. It's not this I didn't hire any diplomats, they just came to me. Yes, Sir. Sir. Yes. I guess the last thing I want to do is just organize some of these things. My Lord. Is oh, I can't get back. Yes, That's okay, they not even they haven't got the siege equipment ready, so it's fine. Oh, there's no need, it's... Oh, I'll just do it anyway. But um, we'll have stone walls next time. Get these replenished. Get another one coming in. Sir. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yep, get the stone walls in. Prepare for, man, prepare for you know, inevitable defenses. Should I fight this battle? What have I got? I've only got two units of pikes. Chances of us winning that are pretty slim. Um, I'll let him figure that one out. Anyway, that's, that. this campaign is no longer fucked. It's still going to be difficult to go on, but I would think that if I did another episode, even if it was just for another hour, I would make it too easy for him. I'd probably be able to push my way into at least one of the, the core Egyptian settlements or, you know, take southern Greece. 
Either way, that would just make it too easy. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like, subscribe, and the next disaster episode, not of this one, but the next, who knows what it's going to be, will be tomorrow. Anyway, see you next time, fuckers.